so welcome to the ansys discovery maybe some of you guys already know about this product so ansys discovery aim and live is the flagship product of ansys so yep so we know that so ansys has ansys workbench and then ansys apdl ansys civil so why ansys discovery and for who they are targeting and before that i am ranjit so you are watching simulation tech tamil so if you are really like this video please hit the like button and Uh, share with your friends and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for the instant update okay so the answers discovery is basically uh, designed in the perspectives of designers not for the simulation engineers okay so at the initial stage uh, if you are supposed to change the design modification uh, like a entry level modification you can use the answers discovery to calculate the results uh, within a fraction of seconds so that's why they created the ansys discovery live so in the name itself it will shows the live results instant results so actually it's a pretty cool thing to work with this and uh, more advanced level uh, analyzing software also uh, actually i am planning to make a playlist for the ansys discovery live also and, uh, if you are really like this thing just let me know in the comment section so if i get a positive response for this video i'll definitely make a playlist for the ansys discovery live completely uh, right from the static structural and how to do the model analysis everything okay so in this video i'll show you a, a glitch regarding the ansys discovery how it's actually works like a, a little bit of graphics uh, user interfaces and the navigation tools one more important thing is this ansys discovery is uh, not works on your cpus uh probably you peoples are well known aware of the uh, softwares like a uh, uh, it may be a cat software or it may be a ca software so the cat softwares is mostly utilizing the gpu unit in our system or uh, laptops whatever it is uh <clears throat> but when we come to that analyzing part ansys workbench uh, is an analyzing software it's totally depend upon your power of your processor like a cpu so if you have a high capacity of uh, cpu the problem will be easily get solved but this discovery is utilizing your gpu unit also so that means uh, we know that cpu gpu is more power than the cpu right like we can get a, a cool animations and then quick results also so i want to just let me know you uh, this software is utilizing your gpu so for you guys like if you are a gamer or if you have a high graphics unit systems so this for software is suitable for you guys so <clears throat> uh, i think uh, i have attached the downloader link of the software below so we have the students versions available on ansys websites also you can just uh, download it and uh, try to install in your system and just get start with the software okay so i'll just close this thing so uh, it's a new software right so they have the uh, everything like uh, what should do and uh, the about the most justification and the navigation tools everything so i am just close it but uh, you guys take a look on it so it might be helpful for you okay so i'll explain the gui of this software uh, it's pretty cool to explore like you have a design phases i mean uh, displays and everything i'll directly move on to the simulation tools so we will come to this part laterly so most of you peoples are well aware of what is phase climb so in traditional ansys workbench software we have a two different sets of editing tools one is uh, what we say a design modeler it's a very old one and then another one is space climb so this space climb is combined with the dis uh, ansys discovery live so when i go to the designing part i can directly model any component over here and try to get start with the analysis but uh, today we're going to import a component and going to do a, a thermal analysis related stuff or a structural analysis everything okay so it is pretty cool so this is the graphics area and uh, at the top you'll have uh, so many ribbon bars so each and every entities when i click on one entities one tab so the entire options will be dynamically updated so when i click on simulation the simulation related options will be shown over here that's it so apart from that you have a, a what we say triad so which shows you the uh directions like x y you can say it as a coordinate system so we have some design tree also and some of the panels over here suppose if you are interested to do the static structural uh, or a structural related analysis you can go here and choose the desired options okay so how can i import any component to this uh 
and just discovery it's pretty cool so you'll have a three lines right just click over here and you have so many options i'm going to import a geometry just click on insert geometry go here so you can choose anything maybe uh okay so i'm going to import a heat zinc it's a simple pretty component so as soon as i click on import so now the component will be get imported but uh, it's not imported as i expected because uh, i need the component this phase should be places on the x and y in search situation what you can do here is you can just rotate this component it's very simple so you have the triad right so just click on it and try to rotate it so just give anything like a 90 degree rotation and click on over here and uh, press the escape double tap this options will be disabled and only it won't now it everything will be uh what we say disabled and what about the navigation how can i zoom and how can i zoom out okay so it's pretty simple like zoom in and zoom out options will be controlled by your mouse center button you can scroll in and scroll out for the zoom in zoom out and suppose if you want to pan this object just press control and you can pan this object okay so before I enter into the analysis i want to uh, let you know like uh, what are the different sets of analysis has happened over here so at the bottom you can find one option like explore so this explore is basically for the quick analysis so suppose if you want to view the analysis quickly so without any meshing without any meshing like underline my word like uh, without any meshing we can do our analysis on ansys discovery but usually the people are who are from the simulation industries or if you are well aware of ansys workbench probably you will be surprised like without meshing how can i do the analysis yes that's what happened in the discovery so we can do that stuff so literally you have a three modes so when i click on this uh, this arrow like a uh, left side arrow so you will find an option called a model so when you go to there automatically you will uh, end up with the page like design that itself you can uh, what you say uh, you can create your own model suppose if you want to modify this component also you can do that and uh, the next mode is explore you can explore this component like whatever the changes is happen and suppose if you want to do a intense analysis that is also possible not only for the uh, aesthetic appearance analysis like a basic level uh, analysis you want to verify the results in the explore you will get some results suppose you are doubt with that results you need to perform a uh, high quality of analysis like in ansys workbench you can go to the refine option so when you switch over to refine some other options will be available in this analysis panel okay and uh, there is an another thing also here you may find one small polygon structure so it's a symbolic uh, like uh, ansys use the branding symbols for this uh, what we say discovery so everywhere you find this symbol like uh, i'll show you wherever it's uh, find so it's pretty simple like when you click on this option see you have so many multiple options pretty cool right so here we have the first thing is uh, selection tool and uh, this is basically for the modeling so when i click on it so the modeling related stuff suppose if you want to change the size or geometrical modification tools over here so the triad everything will be available so this is basically for the analysis selection so which type of analysis you want to do like you want to do a, a fluid dynamics analysis or a structural related analysis or a thermal related analysis so i'm going to do a thermal related analysis on this component so what i'm going to do here is i just click on thermal and what are you going to want to do like temperature or uh, what type of input you want to include so i'm going to input a heat so i'll click on the heat and suddenly when i click on the heat it ask you to choose me which phases you want to apply the heat it's pretty simple i'm going to just twist this model we know that in this phase the heat is actually added i'll click on it so as soon as i select that phase it ask me to enter the values okay so i'll just enter the value as 25 watts or you may be increase like uh, you can give a 30 watts also and suppose if you want to change the units also you can go here and change the desired units cool right so i'll stick with watts and uh, 
suppose if you don't want to apply the total heat and uh, want to change that you can do that stuff also as soon as you are done with this part just double tap on escape to uh, i mean what we say uh, to hide that surrounding options okay so as soon as i added this component see you can notice that now the heat is added okay for this heat sink right now the by default material is added as a structural seal how can i change the material for this component that's pretty cool so you can use the same options like escape so again click on the same thing and here itself uh, right now we are in the analysis mode right this is the selection of analysis come back here so this is for the material selection i'll choose it and there itself you can choose the desired material for this component but before that you have to choose this whole component how can i choose it you can choose anything like if you are choosing a face it will be uh, choosing that particular faces maybe if you want to choose multiple faces you can just click on control and click on multiple faces it will creates so so many or interesting options are available here so i can't explain all the options in the single video so i'll make it as a, uh, different videos in upcoming sessions so basically that itself it, sh uh, it shows you like a three faces is selected right so it's an uh, there is an uh, power selection mode is also available over here just go here and uh, enable the power selection basically what happened here is if i try to pick any faces so so many selection options are available like a similar faces can i can easily select instead of choosing one by one i can use a power selection mode but right now the simplest way to select the whole body is okay i'll just minimize it so just triple tap on the whole component will select the whole component as a at a particular uh, single click like a three selections now the whole model will be selected triple click on the desire body okay now i can go over here and change the material now it will be shown in a dark color right previously it shows in a light color so that means uh, we can't uh, what we say so add the material because we don't yet choose the component then once you're done with this part just click on the material whatever you need so right now by default it's structural steel but anyways it's a heat zinc right it's made up of a uh, copper or aluminium so i'll make it as a copper okay so once you're done with this thing okay uh, let me make it as an um, okay so i'll say uh, i don't want copper i can change um, to aluminium okay so i'll change to aluminium so the colors are also pretty cool so based upon the material the color color will be shown so when i choosing i mean copper it will shows in a different color when i choosing aluminium it will be shown in a different color okay so the material selection is done and then uh, heating location is also done then you may notice then options called convection so probably if you are well aware of the thermal analysis uh, how to do a steady state and then transient thermal analysis in ansys workbench so you will notice that what is the conduction like a flame coefficient so it represents the surrounding air so whether you have a air or a water or oil so you can define by the convection factor and you can define the ambient temperature also i'll leave to that uh, to a default value so suppose if you want to change that you can do that stuff also so all you need to do here is just double tap here and update that value that's it okay so how can i view the Uh, results are so right now i just update the temperature and uh, everything see see guys uh, we don't get uh, what we say like uh, create any meshing that stuff is no we don't get done so to view the results it's pretty simple all you need to do here is right now just notice that in that uh, uh, small structure you'll notice a uh, what we say a yellow color structure right so right now when i place my cursor nearby so the steady state solid thermal is not get started so to solve this analysis just click on the solve so within a fraction of second like uh, can you get this thing so i don't need pass the videos or do anything like within a second the result is get solved that is the power of ansys discovery live guys like when you notice over here so ideally it's not a what we say like a most accurate results but most of the time it's very closer to the analytical results like what we done in the ansys workbench it's very closer to that stuff also okay suppose if you want to view in a chart format you can like right now we have the temperature gradients so how the temperature is actually changed want to animate it yeah you can 
so in structural analysis so after the solving of the process it will be changed into a what we say a green color so before it is in the yellow color right now it's in the green color okay uh, sir if i want to modify the component like uh, i'll at the beginning of the uh, session i said that it's like uh, what we say uh, it's basically created for the purpose of initial design modification okay how can i make the instance design modification let's see so that's pretty simple maybe if you want to modify this components okay suppose i want to reduce the fin structure we know that like if you reduce the fin structure obviously the maximum temperature like uh, the temperature uh, uh, what we say the convection will be much more lesser because the area is reduced right so i'll go here want to modify this thing go go to the geometry modifications and i'll use a pull so the push and pull this tools is already available in the uh, traditional space climb software but those who are not using that software might be a new thing so i want to pick this okay i'll take a closer look on this face i'll choose this one so want to pick the multiple faces just make sure you are pressing control okay so i'll pick the four one i want to reduce it like it's pretty simple like reduce it see instantly we reduce the component see i don't it uh, change anything over here i don't it change anything automatically it will be updated see the maximum and minimum will be changes so to notify it like you can change uh, you can make the difference between the two stuffs like a uh, previous designs and this current designs so it shows the temperature so actually in the previous we'll get the maximum temperature as 66.73 but for this cases i just reduced the fins length okay so i'll get a value of around 67.192 okay what happen if i try to even reduce this two also okay i'll pick this whole one okay and again go here and this one i'll reduce furtherly let's see okay see eventually the heat is much more higher that is 70.481 okay uh, let me increase this one this lens so this is actually cool right we have to wait for so many times in the answers workbench but here it we don't need to so what happen if i try to increase the length further like see now the temperature will be reduced this is what happened here so i'll try to increase this one eventually if you want to do this kinds of stuffs see now if when i try to increase this length now the uh, temperature will be drastically reduced so i'll click on double escape okay see by this way uh, we can make this analysis much more easier for the people who are new to the analysis field uh, it pretty much harder to understand like but uh, for learning the ansys workbench or ansys apdl we invest a lot and lot of time right but for the ansys discovery live or uh, aim products you don't need to invest that much of time so all you need to do here is just get start with the analysis uh you should have a basic things related to it like a basic workbench when you are well good and with that stuff you can easily cope up with this thing so the sudden instant design changes the instant results everything can be uh possible in the answers discovery live okay so that is what i plan to show to you guys like if you are really like this video and uh, please let me know in the comment section likewise if i get a positive response for this video i'll definitely make a playlist for answers discovery live okay so thank you all so we'll meet on another interesting video have a good day